First on Fox, breaking news in Gaffney, where the coroner was called to a crash tonight following a pursuit out of Cleveland County, North Carolina. It all ended here in Gaffney. And we can now confirm that a man and woman were killed in this crash. The sheriff says it started in Cleveland County on Highway 18 as it came towards South Carolina. A North Carolina state trooper actually crashed. Well, dispatch in North Carolina called ahead to Cherokee County, gave them the heads up, gave them the description of the vehicle. Well, about a few minutes after coming into South Carolina, the sheriff says one of his deputies in Cherokee County spotted that vehicle and initiated a pursuit. This pursuit went on to the interstate around the 100 mile marker. The sheriff says this driver was actually turning his lights off, trying to lose those deputies. So it went from the 100 exit southbound to the 95 exit where he got off there at Pleasant School Road. The sheriff said this chase actually went into downtown Gaffney. Uh, they lost this guy for a couple minutes, but they picked him back up around Highway 50 and Concord Road. That is when they continued in and on Buford Street. Now, the sheriff says his deputies were about 10 to 15 seconds behind this driver. That's how fast this guy was going. And they say when this truck crashed here at Buford and Camilla Street. The deputies did not know. They kept going on. It's a few moments later when dispatch started getting calls of a crash. Deputies realized that was their driver, so they all turned around. And this is the scene they found at Camilla Circle and Buford Street. The vehicle almost torn to pieces. You can't even make out the make and model of this vehicle. And here are some pictures of that truck in the front yard of this home along Buford Street and Camilla Court. And we are learning more about the driver. Uh, again, he's not been identified, neither, neither is this woman, but we do know they were wanted out of Cleveland County or at least Western North Carolina. Take a listen to the sheriff on scene a few minutes ago. Uh, we got preliminary information from North Carolina. Again, we have not been able to confirm the identity of the deceased. Uh, we know the male was the driver of the vehicle, and uh, we believe that he had outstanding felony warrants in North Carolina. Uh, but again, we have not been able to confirm his identity with the warrants to say that for sure. But that's the preliminary information we received from North Carolina. The sheriff believes this uh, driver had up to five or six outstanding felony warrants. That's why North Carolina Highway Patrol is trying to pull him over. Of course, stay with us. Still an active scene tonight. We'll take you back there throughout this newscast and, of course, on a late edition of the 11 o'clock news.